If you are struggling with motivation right now, take a deep breath and stick around because I want to share with you a concept that totally revolutionized the motivation for me. Especially in the more recent phases of my fitness journey, I have been told that discipline matters way more than motivation. That's what a lot of these creators will tell you, right? You don't even need motivation. If you have the master plan, just follow the master plan. Stick it out no matter how you feel. You're going to get the results. And to a large degree, this is true. The person that shows up every single day, no matter how they feel, is going to beat the person that shows up when they feel their best 99 times out of 100. What a lot of people seem to be forgetting, though, is that you need some kind of motivation to even take that first step. If you've ever been somebody that sat down, mapped out your master plan, only to feel like a piece of shit because you have this great master plan, but you can't do anything with it. I've been there. Let's fix it together. So, you know you need the master plan. And you know you need some kind of energy to take action on the master plan. But, well, you might think, hey, I really need to connect deeply with my goal. I really need the right podcast or the right workout playlist to really get motivated to take action on my goal. You are looking at motivation as a feeling. And to a large degree, it is a feeling. But more so than a feeling, motivation is a skill. When you think you're lacking motivation, the reality is that you probably have an overabundance of doubt. From the time that we make the decision to do something to the time that we actually decide to take action is a space, that's my little hand thing for space, that is going to get filled up with thoughts. When we are still in that phase of trying to overcome personal doubt and create mastery, that space getting filled up with those thoughts is typically not one that's going to end up full of exciting, self-motivated thoughts that really make you feel like, hey, I can do this. Mm, no, those thoughts are typically going to become every single reason why you are not going to make it. And so I said, motivation is a skill. That skill is really just the ability to shrink the gap between when you know you need to do something and you actually take the action. The skill of motivation is the ability to simply flip that switch. Because a truly motivated person knows you're either going to flip that switch or you're not. And so here's how you practice motivation right now in your own life. Start to become conscious of noticing how long the gap exists between knowing what you need to do and actually taking that action. I'm willing to bet if you struggle with motivation, the likelihood is that you also use a narrative that goes along the lines of, I'm a procrastinator. I'm lazy. I take a really long time to decide things. All of those are indicators that you consciously try to extend that gap. And while you might try to tell yourself, hey, that's me being an effective planner. Knock, knock. Hello, it's me busting through the mental noise. That's actually your ego telling you, hey, we're about to change and change is scary. And so, want to become a person that is infinitely motivated? You got to get better at flipping that switch.